Welcome back, everybody. The Bata Shoe Company was established in 1897 in what was then known as Czechoslovakia. Today, the company says it brings 400 million pairs of shoes to the market globally every single year. 35 million of that is sold across eight African countries. Alexis Nassard became Bata's CEO in 2016. He sat down with Eleni Jokos in Johannesburg to talk about why Africa has been such a good fit for his company. One of the competitive advantages of our company is that we build our collection from the ground up. We don't create a central collection that we parachute everywhere. Every year we introduce up to 35,000 new models in the system. And the reason we have that proliferation is that we really do it consumer by consumer, country by country through a process, a merchandising process, which is fairly sophisticated in order to allow us to meet the needs of consumers. So what, is, what do Africans want? You're talking about uh, walking for longer, sta you know, standing taller and so forth. Um, what are the trends that are, are kind of emanating from the continent right now? You're in eight African countries, I'm sure, very different needs across the board. Right. You know, there, you have, we are in different countries, and, and, and what is an African, to be honest, is, is there isn't one simple definition of it. A South African consumer will be very different from a consumer in Malawi, would be very different from a consumer in Tanzania. There also are different levels of sophistication and expectations from fashion and the footwear category. We always offer a good chunk of our collection, about 20% with fashionable items, but 80% are classics that we keep always au goût du jour, which means always we keep them to, at the flavor of the day so they don't become stale. Okay, so you were manufacturing plants on the continent as well. You I mean, toughies you manufacture in South Africa. What has your experience been on manufacturing shoes on the continent? We're very committed to manufacturing. We have three plants in three countries. We employ more than 3,000 people in these plants. It allows us to build the network of business partners in terms of suppliers, of raw material, but also what we call ABUs, which is associate business units, people who do part of the manufacturing for us. And we have up to 20 organizations and companies like that with whom we work. But how important is Africa going to be to your overall portfolio and how much growth are you expecting? Consumption of footwear per capita in Africa is 0 0.8 which is very low when you compare it to the global average of 3.5. So there is a world of growth potential that is going to come from Africa. And, and just to go back for, for on, on demographics, you know that every year in Nigeria, more babies are born than in all of the European Union. So the demographic case, the urbanization case, and the underdevelopment of the footwear category are huge cases for us to consider Africa a must-play arena for our future growth. We sell 35 million shoes per year. Uh, you know, we have three factories, we have 400 stores, so we are, we, we, are, we are in a good position to try to take advantage of all this potential going forward. And we believe we have a potent strategy to take advantage of that. And what does it contribute right now and what do you want it to contribute going forward? So today, Africa is, represents a group about a bit less than 10% of our, of our total sales. And we think down the road it should represent a higher number for that, at least 15%. How do the margins fare in South in Africa versus the rest of your operations? I mean, it's you know, below, it's below average. Really? And mm. you know what? I don't lose sleep over it because when you are in a, in a, in a high development part of the world, you have to invest ahead of the curve. And you have to invest in marketing, you have to invest in your product collections, you have to invest in people, in resources, you have to invest in manufacturing. And, you know, eventually, if you create the right fundamentals for your business model, the margin will come. All right, my friends, that does it for us here on Marketplace Africa. Be sure to check out our website and our Facebook page. Keep up with all of our stories and share your thoughts. I'm Zane Asher. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week in the Marketplace. FaceTime, in association with Dan Gunn.